Hello Reds and welcome back to the uh, Red Revolution with me Calvin, hope you're all doing well. And uh, Liverpool FC last night lost 2-0 to Leicester in the uh, EFL Cup. Um, my thoughts about it, goals coming from um, Akazaki and Slimani, uh, if that's pronounced, how you pronounce his name. Uh, for Leicester, uh, my thoughts about my reaction, I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised. Um, I've had enough ranting on about Liverpool and uh, Jurgen Klopp um, but I, as I said I'm slowly losing belief um, in Jurgen I really am um, it's, my thoughts about it is our defending was basically shit as always uh, well, Danny Ward you know he's, he's I can't really bl blame Danny you know it's a uh, would you say a big game for him, you know, away from home, Leicester, it's not a big cup. Um, put Danny Ward in goal, um, you know, a big opportunity for this lad to, to impress. And it, it's hard, it's not all his fault, fault. he's got a, a back four to try and protect that goal, help him protect that goal as well. Um, Gomez started a centre-back instead of right-back, um, John Flanagan came in in that uh, right back. Um, you know we haven't seen him for a while. Uh, he was on loan at Burnley last season. I don't see a future um, at Liverpool for John John Flanagan. I, I just don't. You know we've got Gomez who can play right back, who's much better there than centre than he is at centre back. Uh, we've got Trent as well. Got the Nathaniel Klein who should be returning soon. Um, through injury, uh, you know, he's got an injury at the moment. Um, Clavin was a partner, partnered, was his partner, should we say, uh, with uh, Gomez. Uh, Andy Robertson came in at left back. Uh, midfield, Grugic came in, and uh, Ox was up front. We'll get to a minute. Wijnaldum, Hendo in midfield. Uh, Oxlade was up front, started for Liverpool. Solanke up front as well. And uh, the snake, Coutinho, who I've still not forgiven yet. Um, my thoughts about it is, surprise was no Salah, unless there was an injury that I didn't know about. Um, I expected this team, I expected Solanke to start, I expected uh, Grushik to start. Obviously pissed off seeing Gomez at centre-back. He is much better in a full-back position. Um, the tactics, everything's wrong. Everything's wrong. Um, you know, people taking the piss out of Oxley Chamberlain, saying, "Oh, you know, what a waste of money and shit like that." You know, give the lad a chance. You know, they, they slated him the other week when he was playing for England. His performance. Give the lad a chance. He's gonna have his critics. I hope he proves them all wrong. Um, I don't regret us signing him. I don't. I, you know, I know I'm speaking like the manager, but I, I don't regret us signing him. I'm glad we signed him. We need someone like him. We don't know where he's more stronger on the wing or if we put him in centre mid. I like to try him at centre mid. We'll see. Um, but, uh, yeah, Coutinho did play. Uh, he, he played as he always has done for Liverpool. Very skillful, hard to get the ball off. Uh, I know I'm talking very positive. I know he's a Liverpool player. Um, but I still not forgive him. It will take time. It will take time to forgive someone like that. I, I I'm not fifty fifty about him now. What to do with him? Uh, what you know? It looks like we're going to be playing him. I don't know. Um, you know, you see Arsenal fans are fifty fifty. Some jeered him when he came on the other week. Um, some cheered him. Uh, so some have forgiven him. I don't know. Um, I'm fifty fifty about uh, Coutinho now. Um. Just the defending for us was 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 shocking, especially for the Okazaki goal. I would just cringe when I saw the replay for that as well. When I was watching it, saw the replay again, and defending is as it's always been. It's been shit. It's always been shit. Our, our defense, and Jurgen just looks confused in his press conferences, his interviews. He's 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 not saying this, but he's he's acting like he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. I'm being absolutely honest. I, I, I'm I getting very concerned. And we're playing Leicester again. At, back at Leicester this Saturday. 
live on TV for everyone to watch. Um, you know, we'll talk about Leicester's team. I, I don't think we'll beat Leicester. I think we'll struggle to get a draw. I know we'll have Salah, hopefully, back in team. Um, Marnie's still suspended. Yeah. And uh, I just think, you know, they're going to have Mares back in the, the starting lineup. He was on the bench for them. Uh, Schmeichel wasn't playing. Uh, Vardy wasn't even in the team. They, they, they had a weaker team. I know Old Brighton started, and but they started up front with uh, Slamani and Aloha. Aloha. Not very pacey strikers, uh, like big, tall, strong strikers. There was no pace for them, but one of them scored. Um, no Maguire, he didn't start either. That's one of the key men I pointed out. I did think quite a few of them would be left out, but I didn't think probably like Vardy. I thought they had some pace up there. Um, but I've got to be honest. I've got to be honest. I don't think we will beat Leicester. If we can't beat them, we had we a lot of first-teamers, quite a few first-teamers. Not a lot, just a few, you, you know, um, in that starter lineup for us. And they were basically near enough playing their second team, Leicester. And, you know, they're going to have Mares, Vardy back in the team. They're going to have a stronger team. If, if we can't beat that second team, no disrespect to Leicester, but I'm being honest here, if we, it's, it's worrying this. If we can't beat a second team Leicester, if we can't even sco score a goal past them, and we concede two, how are we going to beat them again in this same fixture at Leicester? I don't think, I think we'll struggle to get a draw. I'm being honest. I, I don't mean to sound so negative. You know, these are my thoughts, but I just think we will struggle this Saturday again to Leicester. I wouldn't be surprised if we lost. I wouldn't. Um, I'm not doing this. I'm not ju jumping on the, uh, you know, the bandwagon, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, where, where everyone say these Liverpool fans saying "clop out." It's called that. Um, Jurgen, don't get me wrong, he, he he was very good, fantastic manager for you know Dortmund. Took him to Wembley against Bayern Munich. Unfortunately, lost. You know, won titles. I think you know he's he's, he's a good manager, one of the best managers. It's just hard when this is his second full season at Liverpool. And you will think... Can I just get this straight as well? I know this sounds a bit of a rant. But to the Liverpool fans that are saying that, oh, Jurgen Klopp took us to two cup finals um, in, the, uh, in his first season. Well, when he arrived near the end of 2015 when Rodgers um, was gone. Um, and he was for that half of that season. Uh, he took us to two cup finals, um, which we lost both of them. People saying, "Oh, he took him to," but you need to remember, he didn't do that from. He didn't do that from the start. That's what I'm saying. Um, you know, Brendan did a lot of the work in the League Cup that season and in the Europa League, leading up to us going to the finals before. He was sacked. He got left. You know, he's gone by ma as manager of Liverpool. It wasn't all Jurgen Klopp. He didn't do it right from the start, since round one, or from the group stage, or, or you know the group stage, the um, yeah, something like that. I, I can't remember now. But seriously, Brendan Rodgers did a lot of the work. I just worry now. I just really do worry uh, where we're going as a club. Because honestly, I don't see us as a top four team this season. I really don't. I really don't mean to sound so negative. I just don't see us as a top four team. It's, it's hard. It really is hard because... Where are we going as a club? Where are we going? You know, FSG, Jurgen Klopp. Why didn't you bring in another centre-back? You got rid of Sacco. 
Sacco, a top centre back. Love the fans at Liverpool. He he loved life at Liverpool when he was at Liverpool. He got rid of him just because of some kind of I don't know whatever happened in the pre-season tour um, a season or two back, two seasons ago. You know, it's ridiculous. It really is immature from Jurgen. It really is how he was dealing it and handling it all. But honestly, I want to talk about the rest of the match now. I, I really don't see us as a top four team, as I say. I, I, the way we're playing, I just don't. Um, Danny Ings coming on late, late into the game. All right, I don't know if he's come back from an injury. I don't know if he's um, had an injury uh, or something like that. Um, but this guy deserves to start. Deserves to be... I don't know... I. He didn't, he didn't give him enough time, Jürgen. I don't know if he, if he came back from the injury, I understand. But maybe you could have put him on, took Slanky off and put him on for the 60-odd minute, something like that, or before that, 50-odd minute. But not so late as you did. I mean, come on, man. Right, I'm going to mention his name one more time. I want to know what the hell Jürgen was thinking. Um, if it was an injury, I don't know. But just, just let me know if it was an injury or not. Uh, why the hell did he, you know, half time during the well, as soon as it kicked off the second half, um, take off Coutinho? Coutinho playing well. I know I'm praising him now. I don't care. I'm just move, trying to move on now. Um, the class player we all know he is as a player, and he brings on Ben Woodburn. No disrespect to Ben Woodburn. This is you know a big game for him, and I don't think he's ready. You know, I just don't think he's ready. I, I don't mean to sound disrespectful to Ben Woodburn. Yeah, he scored for Wales. It's um, was it like a month ago, something like that. Um, you know, he, he scored his first goal for Liverpool. You know, when he did. Um, now, don't come at me like you know, angry like this. Um, I I kind of see him as an overrated player. I I don't see why there's so much hype around him I don't know I just don't see him performing well at Liverpool that's my personal opinion so don't come at me like you know angry like oh what are you on about you know I, I don't see him all this hype about around Bed Woodburn and why did he come on why did he bring him on why did he take a team you off of all players why, why so early when the second half just kicked off, he had an injury. Let me know. I understand then, but I don't, I don't not sure if he had an injury or not. Uh, but why did he do that? Why did he do that? But you know, that's another mistake by Jurgen in that game. Another mistake. Overall, we we had a few chances. You know, was it Ben Woodburn? He had a chance. It was pretty decent. You know, it just went over the bar. Um, but I don't think he's ready yet. He needs to go out on loan, Ben Woodburn, in my opinion. He needs to go out on loan to a championship club, something like that, to get the experience this season. He He's not ready yet. He's not ready, in my opinion. He needs a season or two out. Young lad, um, he's under 20 years old. Uh, he, he needs a season or two out. He does. He's not ready yet for the Premier League. Um, that's my opinion. He needs to go to like a championship club. He's good enough for that to get experience from that. You know, it's a competitive league, the the championship. Got some really good teams in there. He'll learn from that, and um, he's just not ready. But Jurgen, sort out the team, mate. I mean, we need to beat Leicester. We need to beat Leicester, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if we lost. I hope we don't. I'm trying to stay positive, positive about this, but I do think we'll lose, and I hate to say it, I really do. Um, I wouldn't be surprised because they're going to have Maris and Vardy, uh, Schmeichel, Maguire, you know, all that lot. You know, they got a good crowd at Leicester, good atmosphere. Uh, you know, you've heard our fans last night singing and chanting. Uh, again, behind the team, that's what I love to hear. Um, but honestly, we need to beat Leicester this Saturday. We need to beat them. 
it needs to get the tactics anyway reds thank you so much for watching uh those are my thoughts tried not to uh rant you know get you know too angry <laughs> get angry at all um you know i love my team get behind the reds thanks for watching uh please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me calvin uh, please like this video if you only if you want to if you enjoyed it uh, Please leave your comments down below. Please share this video and I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Bye